In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily import and merge multiple CSV files into a single Google Sheet. This is going to be really useful if you are collecting data that is stored in any kind of cloud-based app or database, and you want to bring this data easily into Google Sheets. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back, and in this video, we're gonna quickly work through that CSV import. Now, before we get on to today's project, I just want to quickly remind you that if you are finding any value in these videos or the channel, please like and subscribe to the channel and make sure you have the bell notifications turned on because that allows you to see when I upload new videos, as well as if you could share this channel with other coaches or practitioners that you think might find this, this content useful, um, that would really help the channel grow and just helps me dedicate time to making these videos. So now that I've got the um, YouTube spiel out of the way, let's work through the project. So the use case for this project is that um, I know myself personally collect data using the Hawk and Dynamics force plate system and I have the ability to export that data as a CSV file and then house it in an external database for further analysis. So normally what we will do is actually log into the cloud, export the data, and then I will upload it to a Google Sheet. So I've already kind of exported the data into a CSV, and if you're not familiar with what a CSV file is, it's basically just a spreadsheet or text file that contains a whole bunch of data, and that is separated by usually a comma or some other delimiter, and it just allows the data file to be really small and house lots of data without taking up a lot of space. So. In order to get this data into Google Sheets, I'm just going to select up here to A1, go to File, and then there's the option here for Import, and I'm going to navigate towards where I have that file saved, but you do have some options. So you can go through anywhere on your Google Drive of Shared With Me, Recent, or just upload the file from your computer. I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive, and I'm just going to navigate to that file and I have it saved in the folder for um, this video. But basically I have two different CSV files here that I have um, from the Hawk and Dynamics force plate. So I'll, I'll select this one here. I'm gonna double click on it. And you can see it's called um, study and then there's the date and then the counter movement jump. So once you have this file uploaded into your Google Drive, there are a few different options. I can take this and I can create a new spreadsheet out of it. I can insert a new sheet onto the one that I'm working with. I can replace a spreadsheet. I can replace the current sheet that I'm working on. I can append it to the current sheet, which means just stick it to the bottom of the sheet. And then I can also replace the data at a selected cell. So what I'm going to do is just um, append to current sheet, which means it's going to stick it right on this sheet here. For my separator type, if we knew what this was, it can be either a tab, a comma, or custom. I'm just going to leave it on detect automatically because I've had no troubles with that in the past. And then here, you have the option to convert text to numbers, dates, and formulas. As long as your dates are formatted correctly in your CSV, this is a good option because that way you can change all of your dates and then use them in any filter formulas or anything else that you might want to use. So when I hit import data here, what you're gonna notice is right away, there's all of our data. And you can see we have lots of different counter movement jump data and all of the athletes have been de-identified. So that's why I've chosen this data set. But basically you can see all of this counter movement jump data. Now, if this was something where I was collecting jumps every week or um, every couple of weeks or every couple of sessions and I wanted to keep this data set growing What I could do is I can take go back into my import. So let's let's put um, A marker here at the bottom. This is our last sort of data row. I'm just going to mark it with some yellow um, highlight and what I can do is go back to import and I'll navigate back to my project So I'll find that and I'll choose the study crossover, which is the other data set that we have. I'll hit select. And what I'm going to choose is append to current sheet. And I'll leave it on detect automatically and hit import. And it should stick all of that data basically 
down at the end of my data set. So essentially what you could do is just keep importing data at a regular interval and it would just keep putting it at the bottom of your sheet. Now what you will notice is because we've added a new data set, you're going to see this test ID, date, time, all of that stuff all over again because it's imported the headers as well. Easy way to get rid of that is if I just go up to the top here, click this top cell to select all of the cells. So it's just the cell between A and one, and then go to my data and go data cleanup and remove duplicates. I have the option now to select the columns to analyze. And if I select that my data has a header row, it's going to take that into consideration. If I hit remove duplicates, it's going to only have found one duplicate, which is all of our headers and I'll hit okay. And if I go back down to where the highlight was that we made, you can see that that header row is now gone because it was a duplicate of the header row that we already had. So that's just a quick way to clean up that data set. Now from here, a couple things that we might want to do is I could select this top row, go back to my data and hit create a filter. And you can see that it would add a filter on here. And then maybe I only wanted to look at the data. Um, maybe I'll clear it all and just look at the data from athlete one. And then I can filter it down to only look at their data. But you can see with just a couple of clicks how your data set can become really powerful and you can start to see, um, start to merge and start to see different things in your data set. So I hope that this quick trick helps you out. If you are someone that is dealing with any sort of cloud services and want to export that data and keep it all in a central location for your analysis, this is an easy way to accomplish that task. So like I said at the beginning of the video, if this channel or video helps you out, please like and subscribe to the channel and share it with another coach. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.